You play in a band, you love that band, but after a practice or a performance, you kind of bounce and go home. But how does one become a good bandmate and what is that? Well, let me tell you how in this video. Let's make a, a right lift. Do you have what it takes to make a right lift to you? What's up, good people? I am Thomas J. Beleza, and welcome to my video. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, well then, subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out. There is uh, nothing more frustrating than, uh, you know, watching a band scatter after a performance. <laughs> Hell, even after practice or maybe you just finished performing or you're just about to perform and you have to run around and find them. Be like, where are they? We only have so much time. Because, um, I don't know if you know this, but you're a team and you should, I don't know, act like a freaking team. Because if your band has five musicians, that's one, two, three, four, five musicians, that's five business owners. Hey, Tom, hey, <laughs> calm down here, Biff. Five people in a band? <laughs> Come on, guys. We only have three. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You only have three. Uh, well, then you have three business owners. And with that said, what is the value of even being good business owner? Bandmate. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that, but I but I want you to stick around because at the end I'm gonna give like a helpful tip and stuff. Build and cultivate a relationship. I don't know, become friends with your actual bandmates. You know what? You might be friends, you might not be friends, and then you play in a band and you kind of become friends. But don't be the douchebag friend. I know that you're a part of band, I know that you are a business, and uh, you know, some of your duties might uh, be Practice, you know, like at home and be prepared. So when you go to band practice, you're not wasting time. You guys can just jump into it, but also help out. Get involved and help out when and where you can beyond practice. So what do I mean there? Well, your bandmates need help doing other things. Maybe they need help working on a car. Maybe they need help at the house. Maybe they need help shopping. Maybe they just need help in general. Maybe they need an ear to listen to. Be a friend. Do more than play music together. Make sure your business partners are people that you can establish a relationship with and be there and support each other emotionally, physically, and mentally. This is basically trying to establish, you know, by building and cultivating relationships to where the point the band can speak freely and openly in conversation without feeling judged or ridiculed. They have the power to do what they need to do to get out what they need to say. And what is the importance of a conversation? Well, ultimately, you can discuss solutions. You can discuss inner turmoil and issues with the band. So you could nip it in the bud, sir. Nip it in the bud. Because a good, strong relationship helps you take criticism, even if it's humorous, and learn from it because it becomes creative. And therefore you can develop as a person because your friends are elevating you, just like you are elevating them. Because I don't know if you know this, but I am pretty sure you have this desire within you to be in this for the long haul. Another thing that you should really be factoring into being a good bandmate is do your job beyond being an artist. Get your tasks completed and run your area of the company. Don't just be that douchebag that writes, plays, and performs. That's it. If you really want to be successful and you want to start making a living and earning income, capital gain on your investment towards this band that maybe you've been doing for one, three, five, seven, or ten years, I don't know. Why don't you try to help the band as a brand grow and develop? Because if you're that person that's sharing, I don't know, 30, 40, or even 50 memes that are <laughs> hysterical, and then you're only kind of like, share like one or two band things in comparison but you know it's for a show specifically and the only thing you do share is please come to our show please come buy tickets buy tickets come to our show hey look here's our new song let me fucking check out our video Arrgh. um then you're a douche i don't know like uh like i'm just brainstorming here but if you have like a task to do like find contact information like a name a number and a phone number so you can reach out to people of importance, I don't know, maybe media contacts, managers, agents, producers, record labels, I don't know, anybody, and you don't do any of it, uh, you're a douche. 
especially like if you like never do it. You know, if you're that person and this is uh, <laughs> the scenario, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Bob, did you uh, remember we, we had that like meeting? And it was like, you know, five of us. And we were like, hey, Bob, uh, the last thing on the list, you know, everyone chose something, but you kind of like did not raise your hand. You were just sort of like, I'm admiring the room. You know, remember that? Remember that? You remember that, right? Yeah, man, I remember that. Okay, good, good. Uh, so your thing was to, uh, Find some context, specifically just, just for uh, magazines. Like you didn't, like you didn't have, like anyone else, like just magazines. Like so, how many did you get? You know, did you get, did you get any? We just, uh, just wondering if you. I, I think, I think, uh, you know, last month we were like, if you could just get five, five names, numbers, phone numbers, you know, phone numbers for them. I didn't like any. Did you get that? Uh, well, well, something came up. Like I had, um, dude, I've been, I've been busy at work. You know, I had a lot of work, and uh, also. Uh, you know, my, like, I have to pay my bills, you know, I got to pay my bills, I had work, and, uh, uh, and then, uh, well, I, you know, I, I had to hang out with my girlfriend, you know, on Sunday, well, that one Sunday, I, there was that Sunday I hung out with her, and then, and then my, uh, my, uh, my parents were like, hey, we're gonna go do this family thing, and, you know, we do that family thing, like, every year, so I, I kind of, I had to do the, uh, I had to do that. So you hung out with your uh, girlfriend like one Sunday, which I think you should definitely try to get in some more days with her, uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, and then uh, you did like the family thing. So let's just say you hung out with four Sundays just for the, the hell of it with the girlfriend. And then uh, you did the family thing for like a week. That's two weeks. Uh, so this was like 30 days ago. So four some days, two weeks, that, that pretty much leaves you with uh, two weeks. So you had 14 days to, I don't know, get five names, numbers, and you could have done names on Monday, took a day off, then wrote down their emails on Wednesday, took a day off, And then get their phone numbers on uh, Friday. And took Saturday and hung out with the girlfriend on Sunday. I'm just saying solutions. I, I, I'm just saying work on the to-do list. <laughs> just to do something and you'll be a good band. Because um, this is your company too. And believe it or not, music does not make a band successful. It is only one small part of your overall brand. The problem is music is ever evolving and changing. But you still have to do your job because what you do is not your job. You can play music all day, every day for free because that's your passion. What you do is your passion. But your job is to network market practice. Your job is to manage your time, money, and people. Your job is to think outside the box and find solutions. Your job is to master not only your talent and your craft, but your ability to run your business and end or talents to organize that company. You need to organize your money. You need to learn how to develop wealth by creating security, growth, and dream. Doing the 60-40 split. Do your job by treating your life like a business and your band is a business. And you know, I don't know, if you're doing a show and you scatter after the performance, remember, uh, unless you're like the leader, which by the way, check out that video, but if you're like, hey, we just performed and you're running around flirting and talking to girls or men, doesn't matter, I don't care, whatever, you know. uh, but you're not helping with the sales and the merchandise or you're not together as a band. Remember, people want to take photos with you guys. So if you're together as a band, it's easier for them to take group photos. And this is important, especially in the day of social media. What I'm saying is don't be a douche. Help for Be supportive. Be extremely supportive, especially if they want to play with other bands. Mm -hmm. Even though you're running a business, you can benefit from expanding your brand. Because each of you within the brand of your band are brands among themselves. Think of Dream Theater. John Bertucci is as much a brand as Dream Theater. Be a brand beyond the band and allow your band to also be a brand. But with the mentality that if this is your main business, make sure that you still push that business. It's important to establish a brand relationship with your audience. You don't want to convolute the story by having several bands you're in. So 
you always want to be Thomas J. Blaza from Altanian, even if you're playing with, say, uh, you know, you're standing in with another friend's band, like Angels on the Battlefield or something. You still want to be that person from that other band, but you happen to be playing with this other band. Though, if the band has a theme, you want to be in that theme, but, you know, maybe if a liner notes in an album, it would say from the band. Uh, if you're doing an interview, you could say uh, also plays with, you know, extend the courtesy of being like, yeah, yeah, they're playing with us and they also play with them. Getting involved helps create longevity. Longevity is important by establishing relationships, both with you as a brand and your band's brand. And if you don't think that's how other brands work together and create success, then you probably never heard of 7-Eleven when they do advertisements with their cups with movies that are coming out. You've never heard of movies and seen product placement. Brands work with brands. Businesses work with businesses. Cross-promotion. Piggybacking. It's important. When a studio hires Brad Pitt, they're not hiring him because he's an actor. They're hiring him because his brand value is bringing some quality uh, uh, audience reception to that particular project. Or, I don't know, you're a band, so um, have you ever gone to a tour? OzFest. OzFest is filled with tons of national brand named bands. And that helps that festival. But at the same time, they're all sort of like developing relationships with all these audience people. And you know, uh, one other example would be the kings of comedy. Each one of the kings of comedy were very funny people, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, they all were kings in their own right, uh, and they got together and they went on a tour, so. Be supportive of each other and everyone you meet. That's my helpful tip. Thank you for watching this video and supporting uh, these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like comment and share the video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember to look at the people around you because you want to work together so you can grow together and therefore rise together. You have what it takes to make a rival team. Do you bump? Oh dear.